this is important. I think you should watch this. Okay, so this morning I was just fitting some rudder stocks only to find that one of our EPO 3s has incurred a power gouge here. So I have said this before in rudder servicing videos, but I thought I would just point this out because you might not have seen those videos and this is very important indeed. So here we go. So here is our rudder casting and what happens is if this gets bashed at all, because this is quite a soft metal, it gets dented and these dents can push in causing sharp bits on the inside which can cut into your rudder blade so what you should do is perhaps once a year once a month as often as you take your rudder system apart which should be at least once a year um, just run your finger along the inside and if you feel any parts sticking in so let's say we had a part there sticking in, just for convenience. We'll take a file and we'll just file that part of the rudder stock until it's smooth and it definitely won't cut in to the rudder blade. Um, that of course is the same for the lower casting as well. We'll just run our finger through there just giving it a bit of filing until that is definitely smooth and we're not going to risk cutting in to the rudder blade. Nice. And then when we put the rudder blade on we're going to use some plastic discs like these uh, on the inside of the casting. That's going to help to prevent wear to the rudder blade as well. So there you go, that is very important. Very easy to fix, but if you don't fix it, you can cut a groove into your rudder blade, which is gonna eventually mean your rudder blade will break and you'll need a new blade. That'll be a sad day. Thanks for watching. There'll be more coming up soon on Joyrider TV. Thank you.